Um, do you mind opening the door? Yes, I'm talking to you. I can see you in the kitchen. Just open the door. <laughs> You're unreal. Okay, okay, hey, before you start yelling at me, let me tell you the reason I'm here isn't because I want to, it's because you have my number on your emergency contact. You were in the hospital refusing treatment for your sickness, so they called me to come check up on you at your house to give you medicine directly. I wouldn't be here if you stayed at the hospital. Why didn't you stay? You know what, you are right. You don't owe me anything. An answer, an apology, nothing. But do you know what you do owe me? Your health and safety. Because when I started dating you, I said, I will take care of you and make sure you are all right, no matter our situation, our status, our standing, anything. Because at the end of the day, you still have my heart. At the end of the day, the person I say I love is you. I'm being serious. Whenever I'm at the mall or outside shopping or anything and a girl approaches me asking for my number or flirting with me or literally anything, I say, mm, I'm taken. Knowing way too well that I'm not and that I'm hurting. So tell me why you're refusing treatment. Because everyone was wearing latex gloves and it was tripping you out. So you left the hospital and refused treatment because everyone was taking proper safety precautions. Is that what I'm hearing? Are you being serious right now? Wow. Okay, whatever. Um, anyways. Here. It's medicine. Um, yeah, I brought it to you. You think I was gonna come here and just talk to you? No. I've come here to give you something. You need to take it to feel better. Obviously, I won't stay and intrude, but make sure to take care of yourself, okay? Please. I'm not joking. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna go home. I mean, yeah, it's late, but I have headlights, and my house is like an hour away. Trust me, I'll be okay. Wait, what? Your mom made leftover lasagna. I do love your mom's lasagna. You know what? Fine. One plate and I'll leave, okay? <laughs> Whatever. What are you looking at? Um, I'm sitting here watching the microwave and you're sitting there staring at me. If you have something to say, then say it. What's on your mind? What do you mean we haven't talked about it? Talked about what? Why we broke up? Listen, that was a month ago, and I don't feel like breaking down and crying right now. Okay, so be at your area. I'll be in mine. Let me eat, and I will leave. That is it. That is it. Why are you getting close to me? Why are you so stubborn? I'm telling you what I want, and you don't listen. See, now you're close to me. 
You know how nervous I get when you're next to me like this. Stop it. You know I still have feelings for you. This is abuse. Well, not abuse. What's the word? You're taking advantage of me. Yes, you are. Because you know I'm weak. I'm very strong-minded. And I'm very tough. I go to the gym. I have a strong mental, strong body, whatever. But the only thing in this world... Well, the only two things in this world I'm weak to is my mom and you. My mom because she gave me literally everything. So whatever she says, I'll do in a heartbeat. You, you hold my heart. Like it's in your inventory, ready to use whenever you want. And you have the lock and key. Even though we've broken up, my heart can't go anywhere else. It's yours. Okay, okay, stop. We can talk about it if you want. Just stay away from me. Like, give me six feet like it's COVID, okay? Okay, thank you. The reason we broke up, and you know damn well, is because when we were on a break, we didn't break up, we weren't single, me and you were dating, and we went on a break to figure ourselves out. And you... I don't know what came over you, but on this break, while we were trying to figure ourselves out and become better people for each other, my ex-best friend asked you out on a date and you said yes. It doesn't matter if you held hands, it doesn't matter if you kissed, it doesn't matter if you stayed six feet apart from him the entire time. You still said yes, which is more than enough for me to deem that as cheating. No, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. We've had this talk in the past, and it ends in the same way. Me saying, I don't care, and you yapping, literally yapping about nothing that makes sense because all you do is lie to me. That's why... You're over there, and I'm over here. That's why we're single. Make sense? Listen, I've said my piece. Now leave me alone, okay? The only person I care for in your family with full love and full intention in my heart is your mother because she was super welcoming and nice and very homey towards me. If I could, I would deem her as my second mom. Literally. Because she acted like my second mom. But you didn't act like my girlfriend. Which is what hurt me the most. Whatever. The food is done. I'm going to eat. And then I'll be out of your hair. Okay? Alright. Alright, um, I'm heading out. Well, yeah, I finished eating the food and I uh, washed the plate, so it should be there on the rack and um, I'll be leaving. Will I come back? Um, maybe if you have another emergency, probably, but don't go doing that on purpose. That wouldn't be smart, but maybe I'll say that. Anyways, I'll see you later. Huh. It's a lot darker than I imagined. Yeah, look. I can't even see the stairs to go down. What is going on? Um, you know what? Maybe I will stay the night. Just this one time, not again, but just this one time since I genuinely can't even see the street. So driving would be bad. Very, very bad. Um, no, I will take the couch. You can sleep in your room. Um, obviously because if we do that, I won't cry in my sleep. Hello? 
just go to bed. If you really, really want to talk about it on a deeper level, this morning we can. But right now, I'm tired, okay? Good night, and I'll talk to you later. Hello. Is that you? What are you doing here? I said to go sleep in your room. What do you mean you can't sleep? You always sleep fast. Way faster than me. Why are you nervous? Why do you feel so uneasy? Because I'm in your house and I'm upset. Well, that's not your problem anymore. It's mine. So just go back to your room and go to bed. Listen, I know your couch is big, but that doesn't mean to sleep next to me. Can you please move? Please. You know what, fine. Holding this pillow to sleep wasn't good enough anyway. Come here. Don't talk to me. Don't flirt with me. Don't say anything. Just be silent and go to bed. Okay? I love you. I love you so much, my baby. Huh? What? I didn't say anything. I'm going to bed. Hey, can you stop? Um, what was that for? What was that for? Because you felt like it and you knew I wouldn't object. I see. Um, <clears throat> can you just go to bed, okay? I promised you we talk in the morning. So can we talk in the morning? Thank you. Good night and stop brushing up on me. You're making me nervous.